Congratulations on your choice to use OwnerRes to help manage your short-term rental business. To help get you up and running, we've created a logical, easy-to-follow, step-by-step checklist to ensure that you are entering all the necessary information about your properties in order to take advantage of the many ways OwnerRes can automate your tasks and help you become more profitable and efficient in running your short-term rental business. Some steps will require pre-planning. This will make things go a little smoother during the setup process. One of these cases is determining which payment processor you will be using. Some credit card processors can take a few weeks for the approval process, so the earlier you get started on that, the better. You can find helpful information about this on our website support center in the payment processing section. The first item on our setup checklist is listing content. If you already have listings on Airbnb or Verbo, you can import photos, descriptions, and amenities directly into OwnerRes to save some time. Please watch our Listing Content Importing from Airbnb or Listing Content Importing from Verbo support videos for help with these processes. If you have more than 10 listings, please contact us at help at ownerreservations.com and we can run the Listing Content import for you. If you are adding a property that is not yet listed on Airbnb or Verbo, this video will walk you through the steps of creating a new listing for owner res. You will be asked to provide the following information about your property during the setup. Accommodations, amenities, descriptions, guest instructions, health and safety, location, photos, and rooms. Please have this information ready to make the process easier. When you log into OwnerRes, by default, the first screen you will see will be the calendar. You'll be able to set your default view later if you wish. You may see a pink attention needed warning bar. This is to alert you that it is time to add your first property. You can click on the Fix It Now link to add your first property, or click on the Properties link in the top menu bar, click on the Add Properties drop-down menu, and select which method you will be using to add properties. For this video, we will demonstrate how to add one property. Once you've entered the Add a Property section, you simply enter the name and address of your property. The name you enter will be the same name you use to list and promote the property, so keep it short but catchy. Unless your name is Ferdinand Magellan, we don't expect you to know the latitude and longitude of your property. Click the Find from Address button and we will determine this information from the street address you provide. Click the green Save button and you've successfully added your first property. Congrats! Now let's add some more detail about your property. Click on the property number to open the property and look for the items under Listing Content. This is where we will get started. First, click on Accommodations, and then click the Pencil Change icon to start adding additional information. Enter as much information and be as accurate as possible. You will be able to control what prospective guests see, but you will want the information available in case you choose to display it on your listing at a later date. There are text boxes for some fields to add additional information about this particular field. For instance, you may want to let guests know the parking capacity of your garage if you have one. Note, if you will be posting your listing to Airbnb and you check any of the accessibility amenities, you will need to provide pictures for each one you check. Hit the green Save button when you are done completing this section. You will see a summary of your selected accommodations. Remember, you can always go back and edit this section at any time. Next, select Amenities from the left-hand column, then click the Pencil Change icon to start editing. This is a long section. Take your time and enter as much information as you can and be as accurate as possible. Again, there are text fields to add notes that you would want to share with potential renters to help make your property more enticing. Hit the green Save button when you are done completing this section. You will see a summary of your selected accommodations. Remember, you can always go back and edit this or any other section at any time. We will skip channel rules for now. When you have completed all the other setup steps, you can find information about this in the Listing Content Channel Rules video. Next up is the Description section. Here's where you can put your creative writing skills to the test. The default description area includes channel listing icons with helpful tooltips, including character counts for each channel that appear when you hover over each channel listing icon. Keep these in mind so your text does not get cut off on your listing. You can also use field codes, which you can think of as shortcuts to information that you call upon frequently. For the guest instructions section, the information you enter here will be available as merge templates for emails to your guests, meaning that you can easily include any of these sections in email communications with your guests. 
Include any relevant information in the health and safety section. If you are unsure about the associations and standards drop-down menu, leave Not Sure selected. The location section is pretty straightforward. The top part should already be auto-filled from the information you entered earlier. Check as many boxes that apply to your property in order to appeal to guests looking for specific amenities or nearby things to do. Add photos and captions of your property in the Photos section. Please note the maximum file size and minimum dimensions. You can drag the images to change the order in which they appear. The first photo is what potential guests see first, so make it your best photo. Add information about bedrooms, bathrooms, and other rooms in the Rooms section. If you check any of the accessibility amenities, you'll need to add a photo of it and tag it as such. Congrats! You've successfully entered your listing content for your first property. When you are ready to continue on to the next step on the setup list, be sure to watch our video, Property Level Rules. Thank you for choosing OwnerRes.